Since Batman's first appearance in Detective Comics issue 27 back in 1939, he has become one of the most iconic and enduring characters in all of comic book history. Created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger, Batman's evolution from a grim Avenger of the Night to a complex symbol of vigilante justice has captivated readers for decades. But it's because of this rich and very long history that new readers of Batman comic books can find it very daunting to get into. So this video aims to give you a brief history of the character of Batman as well as recommending some key issues for new readers. Some absolute must reads if you want to get into reading Batman comics. Anyway, let's get into it. Evolution of Batman from Dark Vigilante to Cultural Icon Batman's evolution as a character reflects broader changes in comic book storytelling and societal attitudes over the decades. Understanding this evolution requires examining key phases in the character's history, from his creation to his current status as a cultural icon. Batman's debut in Detective Comics 27 by Bob Kane and Bill Finger introduced him as a dark, brooding figure operating outside of the law. Inspired partly by Pulp Fiction characters and films of the era, early Batman was a vigilante who wasn't averse to using lethal force. However, the introduction of Robin, Dick Grayson, in 1940 began to soften Batman's image. The character became more of a father figure, and the stories took on a lighter, more adventurous tone reflected an effort to appeal to the comic book's younger audience. During the 1950s and 60s, Batman's character shifted significantly, partly in response to the Comics Code Authority's regulation, which demanded more wholesome content. This era saw Batman engaging in more fantastical and less violent adventures. The 1960s TV series starring Adam West further popularized this campy, humorous interpretation. Now, while this period expanded Batman's audience, it moved the character away from his darker roots. By the 1970s, there was a growing desire to return Batman to his darker origins. Writers like Dennis O'Neill and Neil Adams reintroduced a grittier tone, focusing on detective work and moral complexity. However, it was Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns in 1986 that truly marked Batman's return to his dark, brooding roots. This era also saw the introduction of seminal works like Alan Moore's The Killing Joke and Miller's Batman Year One, which explored the psychological depth and moral ambiguity of the character. In the modern era, Batman has been interpreted in numerous ways, reflecting the character's flexibility and the diverse perspectives of writers and artists. Storylines like Nightfall and No Man's Land continue to delve into Batman's complexity, while Batman the Animated Series introduced Batman to a new generation, balancing dark themes and accessibility. The New 52 reboot and Scott Snyder's run on Batman introduced new elements to Batman mythos, such as the Court of Owls, while maintaining the character's core attributes. Recent cinematic portrayals from Tim Burton's gothic interpretation to Christopher Nolan's grounded trilogy and Zack Snyder's portrayal in the DC Extended Universe have further solidified Batman's status as a huge cultural icon. Each adaptation has offered a different take on the Dark Knight, contributing to him as a multifaceted character. Batman's evolution from a grim vigilante to a complex, multi-dimensional hero reflects broader trends in comic book storytelling and changing of societal attitudes. His adaptability as a character has allowed him to remain relevant and compelling, resonating with audiences across generations, whether as a symbol of justice or a reflection of our own darker impulses. Batman continues to captivate and intrigue, demonstrating the character's enduring appeal and significance in both popular culture and the broader canon of comic book heroes. Each phase of his evolution has contributed to the rich tapestry of his mythology, making Batman not just a character, but a symbol of resilience, adaptability and the eternal struggle between light and darkness in the human experience. His journey from the shadowy figure of the night to a multifaceted icon encapsulates the complexities of heroism, justice and morality, ensuring his continued relevance and admiration in the world of comics and beyond. 
So with all that said, let's talk about some must-read Batman comics. Now, navigating the vast library of Batman comics might seem extremely overwhelming, but certain key storylines stand out for their impact on the character and their overall quality. Here are some essential reads for anyone looking to delve into the world of Batman. Batman Year One by Frank Miller This storyline reimagines Batman's early days, focusing on his first year as a crime fighter and his relationship with Commissioner Gordon. It's a gritty, realistic take on Batman's origins, stripping away much of the excess and focusing on the man beneath the mask. The Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller Set in a dystopian future, an older Bruce Wayne comes out of retirement to fight crime in a Gotham that has descended further into chaos. This story redefined Batman as a character and influenced a generation of comic book storytelling. Batman The Killing Joke by Alan Moore This graphic novel delves into the Joker's possible origin story and presents a dark, psychological exploration of the relationship between Batman and his arch nemesis. It's renowned for its narrative depth and controversial portrayal of the Joker and the Bat family. Batman A Death in the Family by Jim Starlin This arc is significant for featuring the death of the second Robin, Jason Todd, at the hands of the Joker. It explores themes of loss, vengeance, and the ethical boundaries of Batman's crusade against crime. Batman Hush by Jeff Loeb and Jim Lee A modern classic, Hush is a mystery that involves a large number of Batman's rogues gallery and introduces a new villain, Hush. The storyline is noted for its intricate plot and Jim Lee's stunning artwork. Batman The Long Halloween again by Jeff Loeb This series is a murder mystery spanning a year, featuring Batman, Commissioner Gordon and District Attorney Harvey Dent as they tackle the mob and a serial killer named Holiday. It's a beautifully illustrated noir-style story that delves into the transformation of Harvey Dent into Two-Face. Batman Nightfall by various authors A massive crossover event where Batman is systematically worn down and then physically broken by Bane. It explores themes of endurance, legacy and what it truly means to be Batman. Batman Court of Owls by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo Part of the new 52 reboot, this storyline introduces the Court of Owls, a secret society that has controlled Gotham for centuries. Snyder and Capullo's run is noted for its fresh take on the Batman mythos while still respecting its history. Of course, if you don't want to read older stories, you can jump into the current comic storyline. The issue is, there are so many titles these days that quite often, stories can run from one title to another, and this kind of makes it hard to follow, so I always recommend to more casual readers to just stick to the trade paperbacks. These are collections of issues in a bigger book, like a graphic novel. These can be volumes that continue the story of one title, or they can be full storylines that collect issues from different titles to tell one cohesive story. It's kind of confusing, I guess, but reading Batman comics is something I'd recommend to anyone that finds this character appealing. Outside of Batman the Animated Series and the Arkham video games, all of the best Batman content is, without a doubt, in the comic books. To conclude, Batman's enduring appeal lies in his complexity as a character, and the rich world that has been built around him. For new readers, these key storylines provide a gateway into that world, offering a blend of psychological depth, moral ambiguity, and of course, action. They not only tell compelling stories, but also provide insight into why Batman continues to be one of the most beloved and enduring characters in all of comic books. Whether exploring his origins, his greatest challenges, or his relationship with his greatest foes, these stories capture the essence of what makes Batman a captivating figure in the world of comics. That's it for me today, my friends. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and at least have an idea of how to get into reading Batman comics, which is something I do think that everyone should do if Batman is a character that appeals to you. And if he does, you should definitely like and subscribe for more Batman-based content. Thank you all so much for watching, have a great day, and I will see you next time on the Batcave.